Hey guys, so on day one, I did intend for a little bit of a show-off clear on Gehenna, but the crash bugs kind of ruined that, and then I went back later with like a budget run, and then like during the crash bugs I had like a half-assed run. But just for my own fun, we're gonna go back to Gehenna with my intended flex clear. So this video is me just trying to hit this boss as hard as I possibly can. Just for my own personal amusement, we're going to see how high we can go on damage. Let, let's give it a roll. So, this clear is not really holding anything back. This is not intended as a guide. This is my for fun clear. So we're going to bounce, shell, and protect onto the boss with reflect. We're going to needles with cane. We're going to fire resist with venera. And we're going to support chain. Uh, well, we're going to... Um, parameter chain, or what am, I, what am I saying? We're gonna score chain with Roberta, Esther, and Titus for the chain count mission. Now this boss is vulnerable, actually, it's actually very weak to non-elemental damage, so normally this would deal a ton of damage, but we bounced back Shell and Protect, so we're fine. It still did 10% even with Shell and Protect bounced back. Anyway, there is the boss's attacks. Um, you'll, you'll notice that I'm going to be mitigating a lot of damage during this clear. So we're going to go ahead and base form LB Roberta. Now we're going to shift Esther, and we're going to use her Magnus, so we can just, you know, set up in safety. We're going to use Kane to do his setup stuff. Um, we're going to use Venera to triple chain on the boss, because we need some crystal drops for Esther. We need to get, I'm not Esther, for Roberta. We need a couple of crystals. Okay, that's actually enough for Roberta. We don't really need any more, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> we actually refilled Roberta entirely. Didn't need that many, but it doesn't hurt. So now we're gonna use Secura to imbue Thunder to the party. Okay, so uh, some attacks here. We're covering this with Esther, Omnicover. Omnicover does make setup very, very easy, as you can see. So, we're going to go ahead and just guard Titus and guard Venera. We don't really need them for the next, the next turn. Um, we're going to shift Roberta. We're going to do Dragon Killer, because that actually gives her a big attack buff. Uh, we're going to do a Dragoon's Aim and Emissary of Demise. We're going to have Esther do Energizing, Shatter, and Storm Guardian. We're going to shift Secura and do that shifted LB. And then we're going to shift Kane to the base form, and we're going to jump him out of here. But wait until all the buffs get out. Okay, there we go. Nice. Some more attacks. Um, Esther is like, whatever. This is the Flare Sting turn. We don't really care. Esther's got this for us. Not a problem. Okay, so we're going to be killing next turn. That means we're going to Tyvus Spirit our Titus. We're going to jump Roberta, but not yet. We're going to do... Let's go ahead and do this first. Let's do Esther to Magnus, True Storm, and Quantum Storm on Venera. Wait for this to finish. All right. Now Venera is going to Magnus. That's a 90 break. It's also going to perfect to spell those buffs off the boss that we put in him so we didn't kill during setup. Now we're going to Ramu Field. Now this is a really important field for this boss. But the problem is we've got Esther. So Esther and Dragoons basically hate each other because Dragoons really want the better fields, but Esther has to go first and she replaces the field. So the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna SLB Titus, we're gonna LB Esther, wait for Venera's auto. Let's go ahead and support chain Venera. And then we're going to Ramu Field again. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is going to be, you know, a test in action. So we're going to send Titus, then we're going to send Esther, Venera, and we're going to send Secure immediately and try to put the Thunderfield back up so that by the time the Dragoons hit and drop, hopefully the Thunderfield is back, the, the Thunder and Peril Field is back up. Let's give it a go and see what happens. So here we go. This. Hopefully the field gets put back up. I don't, I'm not sure if it did or didn't. Um, the field actually looks like 
Okay, it looks like it's up. Let's see what kind of damage we did. Hopefully it's high. 40.3, so the damage cap is 20, we did 40. It looks like my plan worked, so we double overcapped this guy. Yeah, so we went a little bit overboard, and my god, I wish my cane was EX3. Um, oh. It wouldn't have mattered because Kane hit the literal damage cap for himself. The most he can do is 10 billion, and he did 10 billion. I guess, technically speaking, I could go and dual wield Kane. Um, I could I could change the STMR to a one-hander. The recipe is a permanent recipe. You can swap it back and forth, one-handed, two-handed. And he could dual wield. He would hit twice and break the damage cap then. And then he would actually probably out-damage Esther. Um... That's more effort than I'm, I really want to do for a meme video. It's an option, so we could have gone higher than four. So Kane should have done something like 13 billion himself, uh, but he was he was hamstrung by the damage cap, the one hit damage cap. So we're gonna call that a 43 billion clear because a Kane got got you know hit the ceiling. But I guess technically it was a 40 billion clear. Anyway, I wanted to have some fun with it. We had some fun with it. So perfect score. Double overcapped Gehenna, which is one of the thicker bosses of this this um, this Dark Visions. So I'll show you the gear and all for the fun. But um, again, this is not really intended as a guide. This was like a flex video, and I just wanted to have some fun with it. I do have a guide for this fight where I explain the mechanics and I do a cheaper clear where we go with like wind and five stars, etc. But if you want to show off, this team works. Anyway, so our team was Roberta in the base form, 1,000% fill rate, full evasion, just so we don't get hit on turn one. That's really not that big a deal. 12 LB per turn, 1,000 fill rate, and we don't really need that much. We just got to fill a little bit of LB gauge so when we get her ready on turn two again. Shift form, dual wielding, um, jump damage versus demons, and I'm pretty sure we're capped on everything. Max jump, max demon, we are. And she did about nine and a half billion, which is pretty good. Um, Kane in the shift form is just obsidian bracer, um, evasion, thousand needles. And then base form is a double hand build. Um, only EX2, but it didn't matter. He, he, he had the literal damage cap as well. Uh, max on everything, max demon and max jump. Uh, star player Titus, 8200 attack power. Um, great sword because of the imperils. Um, again, I didn't hold back. Not a budget guide. Uh, Tyvus of Spirit, you know, the, the good card. Max and everything. Max, max. And he did, um, how much did he deal? I forgot how much he dealt. He did something. Whatever he did, that's what he did. <laughs> very, very descriptive, I know. Uh, Esther. Um, did 13 billion because she, she's a multi-hitter. She's not suffering from the damage cap. I gave her Fallen Moon for more evasion because she's omni-covering. I mean, that is so far overboard and not important at all. But I did do it. Um, 80 evasion, maxed LB, max demon. Uh, shift form was high fire resist, immune after a buff, which we did use. Um, full evasion. This is just so we can set up. I mean, again, I, the entire point of this clear was excess. Excess and more than we need. That was the point. Do we need this level of bulk and tank for a janky Gehenna? Absolutely not. But we did it anyway. Venera, <laughs> all in for the limited stuff. Reflect ring so we can bounce reflect on turn one. There we go. Um, full evasion, a uh, lot of Esper fill so we can double Esper two times in a row, and passive provoke. That was so that the big imperil did not go on our Esther. And then Ramu secure a full evasion, a lot of Esperfill, shift form, um, some Esperfill, and she did the Thunder Field. And she didn't even really do Thunder Amplify because we don't really need it because we got it with Roberta, but you know, she did it too. Anyway, there is a four a 40 billion Gehenna just because I can. There you go. See you next time.